subscribe now. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Biohacking. So I'm a biohacker. I've been a biohacker for about 10 years. And I, what is biohacking? So biohacking is a new industry. It's about 20 years old. It was coined by Dave Asprey, you know, who's a biohacker, as is Tony Robbins, as is Tim Ferriss, uh, as is Ben Greenfield. Uh, all of those guys are biohackers. So biohacking is the art and science of peak performance, health, and anti-aging. Now, it's a science because there's a lot of research out of universities, labs, out of um, science labs, coming out about you know uh, what works, what doesn't work in the human body, what upregulates it and what downregulates it. So it's a science because there's a ton of science behind it, but it's also an art because even though human beings, we're one species, we're all the same, but there are slight differences between all of us. You know, one person's allergic to peanuts, another person's allergic to tomatoes, another person does well with coffee, and the other person doesn't do well with coffee. Uh, do you know, like, so we all have differences, differences in our body, differences in our DNA, differences in our lifestyle, differences in where we live, differences in ages. A biohack that would work for you when you're 20 may not work for you when you're 50 or 60. So, do you know? so biohacking is an art because you, what you do is you take that, Biohack. A biohack is basically a, a way of optimizing. It's an optimizer. And you take that optimization, whatever that optimization is, you configure it for yourself so that it works as best for you. So I might have, for example, come up with a great uh, coffee, you know, like a, a great coffee formula that gives me loads of energy, wakes me up and gets me going. But another person might try it and they go, oh, it didn't have that much effect. But they tune that slightly to themselves, they try a different few different experiments and they find, oh, they get the same result. So their coffee formula might be slightly different to mine to get the same result because our bodies are different, you know, so whatever works for you. And biohacking came around also because the pharma industry, the big pharma industry, it's so bad that they created a, an alternative. So the biohacking industry is an alternative to big pharma. And, uh, and the other reason biohacking exists is because it's only been in the last 20 years that we've been able to look inside the human body with ease. Like this is a biohack, the Aura Ring. Um, it monitors your sleep. So it tells you how good your sleep is going and what you have resting heart rate and all that kind of stuff, right? So, so biohacking came about because the technology to look inside your body in real time has become so cheap, so, of, so, so easily available that we can now take you into a lab, a million pound lab, give you a cup of coffee, and we can see what the effects of that coffee is on your blood, in your brain, everywhere. Do you know that? And we can see it in real time. So now what we can do, because we can see the results almost in real time, we can now tune that coffee to you. We can now see what the effects of that coffee formula is on you, on your biology, and then tune it to you. So that's, that's, that's why it's a science. And, and biohacking, it's optimizing all areas of your life. So, for example, sleep. So if you want to optimize your sleep, uh, what you would do, one of the ways to optimize your sleep is that you would make sure that your room was completely dark. So to get the best quality sleep, you need a pitch black room with the temperature slightly lower, so it's cool. You also, a couple of hours before you go to sleep, you want to make sure your stomach is empty so you don't eat at least four hours before going to bed. And then you can also use red lights so uh, you mimic the sun. So do you know when the sun is setting, it, go, it goes into red shift. And that is a signal to the brain, because we've evolved with the sun, uh, to say it's, it's getting time to go to sleep soon. So then the brain starts you know, cycling you down getting you ready to sleep. So those are biohacks, uh, red light therapy and all that kind of stuff, completely darkened room. Those are biohacks to make sure uh, that you have an optimum quality of sleep. So there's many more. Then you can biohack your exercise as well. Tim Ferriss loves doing that. And if you want to biohack your exercise, what you do is you do compound ex exercises. You do exercises that use the entire body. Like for example, that lift, that's a biohack because that exercises the entire body. So in the biohacking field, we've been able to shorten the amount of time you spend um, exercising by doing uh, full body exercises, by, by using full body weights.
Another thing you can biohack is you can biohack mental performance as well. Um, one of the drugs I used to use for uh, mental performance was called modafinil. This is a narcolepsy drug you can get in a dodgy way, and that then allows you uh, to upgrade your brain for 12 hours and gets you, allows you to get a lot of work done. So I used to use that. Um, there's also ginkgo biloba, which upgrades your brain. Mushroom latte, you can make a mushroom coffee, uh, especially lion's mane. Uh, Brahmi, you know, the Indian herb which enhances the brain. So there's loads of them, yeah? So there's loads of different biohacks. Breathwork also does it as well. Uh, exercise, going for a run, gets the brain going as well because it brings in a lot of oxygen. Doing some sort of meditation practice brings your brain under control and allows you to focus. So that's also a biohack for your mental performance. And then there's biohacks for physical performance as well. Do you know, like one of those is keto, which is what I do. So I've been, I'm keto for like almost seven to 10 years. Fasting is another biohack. It improves your performance in your body and your brain as well. So you can get a lot more, more done. What I've noticed is when I'm fasting, my, my mind is a lot sharper, a lot focused. I can run longer, all that kind of stuff. I can train harder, but that takes some conditioning to do to get to that point. Uh, peptides as well. So I used to do a lot of peptides, which is what you, these are the next stage of steroids. Um, and you inject them into yourself. So I used to inject, I used all over my body, <laughs> peptides. But my favorite biohacks, the ones that I use the most now, and I will probably use them for the rest of my life, the biggest biohack I've, I have is keto. Keto replaces so many other things. Uh, with keto, it just, it, 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 keto is the way your body and your brain were evolved to eat and work and function. That's keto. And when you are keto, your body is working at its most efficient. Your body is working at its, at its highest rate. Your body is working in, in the most optimum way and with the least amount of inflammation. And it also slows down your aging. And then the other one that's a really good biohack is fasting, intermittent fasting. You can do that. Intermittent fasting is basically fasting, but less than 24 hours. Uh, basically missing one or two meals. So I'm down to one meal a day, so which is a massive biohack. One, it saves me a lot of time and effort. Two, it gives me a lot of energy because it allows the body to rest. What the body needs, what, how we evolve, is that the body gets lots of break in the natural world uh, to fast uh, because you don't know where your next meal is when you're a hunter-gatherer, right? You, you, your meal could be a day away, it could be two days away, it could be a week away, but you still need to perform at your maximum even if you're not eating for a week. That's how our bodies are designed. Otherwise, you wouldn't be around, I wouldn't be around. If our ancestors couldn't do keto, if our ancestors weren't keto, we wouldn't be alive because keto is designed for very harsh environments where the food supply is very erratic. That's what keto is designed for. Uh, and so if you, if you work in that way, then your body works at its maximum ability.